Katie here, and welcome to my channel. Hey, I hope y'all are doing well today. It is National Tortilla Chip Day. I found these cuties. I I don't know what they're going to taste like, but they had like three tahin flavors. This is the one I chose. I'm, uh, I'm going to give this a quick little taste test. I'm installing my muscles. Hold on a second. Okay. I'm going to take this one. It's got maximum amount of flavoring. But yeah, if you haven't had talking before, it's like very savory right it's it's like a savory spicy lime flavor Woo. lime mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's all i'm getting from this lime and salt mm. Very, very heavy on the lime flavor. These would be excellent with some guacamole or like tequila, I guess. You know, I don't really drink, but I hear it goes great with tequila. Anyways, in celebration of National Tortilla Chip Holiday. Hey, sorry about this terrible lighting. I was proof watching this video and I realized that the giveaway wasn't really explained at all. So here's the explanation. Three people are going to get a chance to win a $10 gift card to Amazon and how was how y'all could do that is one tell me in the comment section below whether or not you've tried these chips before. Two, in the same comment, or, you know, comment on that comment. I, I don't really care, as long as it's, like, grouped together somehow. What is your favorite... <laughs> favorite? What is your favorite chip? Anyways, go ahead and read the description below for the majority of the technical rules and such and so on. And... Yeah. See y'all in a couple seconds in the, the actual video. <laughs> the official rules are down below in the description of this video. Anyways, this video, by the way, I'm um going to start another 365 series and um <laughs> Likely this is going to take a lot longer than a year, but this girl loves a challenge. So this book is all about this guy who apparently he did a bunch of skull stuff and he did that once a day for a year and has created a bunch of artworks around a skull, but this has a whole lot of prompts like wreck this journal or Mariah Elizabeth's book and stuff. Um, but instead of doing it directly in the journal, you could do it directly in the journal, but it's just like prompts to make art, 365 of them. And he suggests to make it more interesting or easier to pick a single like object or theme. I'm gonna be picking ephemera. If you don't know what ephemera is, it's um, well actually I don't really know what ephemera is. The first time I heard about it was from my mom. She does a lot of art stuff. She gave me this book. Thank you mother. I'm putting used to it. She also put in this bookmark right here, which is open to the first page. And, uh, right, I was explaining ephemera, wasn't I? Um, 
I don't know what it is necessarily. My mom, I believe, basically said that it is old images, collections of papers, things that aren't going to be used. Um, and I don't know if I'm mixing up that memory from like basically middle school with the definition of ephemera, but it's a possibility. Anyways, <laughs> the prompt for today, day one is to start small and create something the size of your palm. Uh, the first step is the hardest to start small today and make something that fits in the palm of your hand using only the materials in your immediate environment. This is uh, essentially my art studio slash office desk. <laughs> I got some art books. The cookbooks are up here on top of my ephemera box. Um, and actually, I really have a lot of ephemera. Um, I've got 3D ephemera over here. I'm, it's a very messy mess right there right now. I just cleaned it up and all of a sudden it's just... I didn't even touch it and it's dirty already. But I love shadow boxes and making those. And uh, yeah, but today I need to make something that's going to fit in the palm of my hand. And I decided that I was going to do an ATC. It's an artist trading card. They're usually uh, playing card size. And I have some of these that I made in a previous video, uh, which I water marbled. Oh no, it's tangled. I water marbled these and I had extra paint left over. So I created these lovely little babies. And my dog is going ham on the boxes. So I'm gonna look through my ephemera, pick out probably an orange thing to go along with these, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm seeing a potential and possibility in all of these little things. And I know that this isn't going to be a masterpiece, and it's not meant to be. It's just an exercise to get me uh, warmed up for things. So, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring y'all in just a little bit. We're gonna take a quick look at uh, these things. Let me see what's the best way to do this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Yep. Mhm. Mm okay. Potentially. Yeah. Maybe. So. I found these two things. That'd be kind of cute, right? That's a nice little thing going on there. First, I found this. Put something in it. Popping right out of there. You know, like one of these little doodles. Just like popping out, saying hello. I found this guy that I made way back when. Yeah, he's, he's a little origami piece that might be cute to do something with, have them saying something or something, and I don't know, there's a hat that I could put on someone's backgrounds and stuff, I grabbed some of this stuff, and then I figured this might be kind of cute to have over top, you know, so it'd give it like some sort of interesting dimension and some shine, and I found this which would go pretty cutely with those. I could cut these out and rearrange them. I, I found this arm. I figured it could be reaching out to something. And and then I found this cup of coffee. Uh, I'm, I love coffee. And then the arm could be me. But then I also I found all this like this. And I was trying for the longest time to find some other cozy items I could put with it. And then so it would be like an arm reaching out and then this little heart like reaching out to cozy stuff <laughs> um cute concept right but I don't know that that might be what I do I might just make some some kind of like abstracty cutesy 
grungy thing. Okay, so I almost sort of kind of have made a decision. I'm going to use this guy. And I guess I'm going to put him somewhere on here. And have him saying something maybe? Or... But the question really is, what would he be saying? It's... Yeah, um, let me clear off the stage a little bit. I could just put him with clouds in the background and it'd be like his head's always in the clouds, you know? That, would that be considered cute or dumb? Um, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, so I have this guy and I could glue him down right somewhere on here question is what is the best composition it really does fit pretty perfectly uh like that so that's interesting I think I'm liking him right here. So, like right there. Is this a good composition for the background? Do y'all think? Yeah, I'm gonna make him talk. <laughs> or is this a good position? Um, honestly, I like this way better. I'm gonna have to glue these down. Luckily, I have this. Voila. You know, technically, origami uh, does not include any glue or cutting. Traditionally, so this is very much cheating in a sense. It kind of looks like Yoda, doesn't it? Like ears, or maybe I, I think it's like, um, well, pretty sure it's from this book. What I think it's like a gnome or goblin or mask 86, page 86. Yeah, it's the mask. I made it from a fish base. So, there's that. Okay, moving on. I literally am stalling now because I don't know what to do. I'm going to go ahead and glue this guy down and hope I don't regret the decision. Where was it? It was right here, yeah? It's actually amazing how almost perfectly that fits. So I have this going on. The origami on the ATC card backgrounds. know what to do. You know, every time I look at this, he reminds me of like an old man. I don't know why, but this mask just reminds me of an old man. So what if somewhere, somehow, I stick a piece of paper on here and it says something about age? You know, now the question is, what paper am I going to use? <laughs> oh, that defeats the purpose of an ATC, though. You know what? What do I have in here? Ooh. But it's pink, though. 
Um, I think I have a blue one somewhere. No, I don't think any of those work. Um, let me see if I can find that. I think it's in my planner. It's in the back here. I think. Here we go. If I can get it off. And it's kind of nice too because now I can move it around a little bit if I need to and then glue it down if I need to. But yeah, uh, I don't know what to put in the top. It could be like beauty. No, wait. Edge does not define beauty. Or time stops for no one or something. I guess that's kind of cute. It could be something like timeless is that which denies age. That's... <laughs> Oh, did that make sense? Was that a quote? I don't even know. Talk about timeless. What is on this? My keychain broke, y'all. I'm I'm a little sad. See, this is why I don't do art anymore. I feel like I just came upon a huge artist block. And I'll tell you what, it has been excruciating. I've done very little, but have tried couple times in the last four years you know what this guy just became me and in me fashion my frustration of which I feel right now I'm going to put onto this sticky note right here are you ready are you zoomed in enough no Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And then something like, oh, I kind of regret using this pen now. Um, so it says, if you can see it, if it would somehow focus, um, what is the meaning of art? Now this obviously is more of a rough draft. It doesn't look the best. Good thing I have all of these. <laughs> Put maybe like a little bit of blue in there. Some shimmery green. Obviously, I'm going to add some orange. Oh, crud, I messed that up. Okay, so one more time. I'm going to go in with this scribble. Some orange scribble. And... A green scribble just a bit more orange cuz I like the color and some more blue because it'll just tie it all together It says what is the meaning, but it kind of fits. So if it fits, it sticks. This is my art piece. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, this is my art piece, y'all. What? <laughs> is it focused? I don't know. Mm. What is the meaning? 
Does it have a meaning? Does it need a meaning? It's art. That's what I'm going to title it. It's art. And it was made uh, between like 2016 and 20... 21 um because of that origami piece so i hope you enjoyed this awkward little thing that i've filmed today i hope that you all have a good night and see y'all later bye